हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे वी आर डूइंग रिविजन ऑफ लेसन नंबर सिक्स दैट इज बर्ड्स एंड देयर बॉडीज दिस इज द पार्ट वन नाउ हैव अ लुक एट दिस पिक्चर दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ अ डक एंड सेकेंड पिक्चर इज ऑफ पैरट राइट in this lesson we have already learned how do birds fly then about feathers about different types of beaks and feet and about claws right now today we are we will do the revision of different part 1 that is how do birds fly and types of feathers okay now about birds birds are the animals that can fly their body is divided into head trunk and tail they have two legs and two wings they have two legs but no hands their wings are covered with feathers their mouth is called beak but they do not have teeth at all a bird can fly because it is light in weight it has a streamlined body and it has a wings right this is the picture of a bird a bird have this shape so can you see the beak then wings then tail and legs so these all are the parts of the body of the bird right now how do birds fly birds can fly because their body is well suited for flying now tell me if we attach two wings on our body can we fly no we cannot fly because our body is heavy birds body have birds body is light it is light in weight that's the reason they can fly easily their bones are thin and hollow hollow means what they are empty from inside see how do birds fly they have wings instead of arms they have strong muscles attached to the wings birds are light in weight because their bone light in weight because their bones are thin and hollow this help them to fly easily this is the picture of a picture of an aeroplane and this is the picture of a bird you can see the shape of the bird and aeroplane is somewhat same now how do birds fly to fly birds jump into the air this is the first step it flaps its wings to push itself upward and forward in the air it uses its tail to take a turn while flying and spread out its wings to stop There are more than ten thousand different kinds of birds in the world. Few birds cannot fly, like ostrich, emu, and kiwi. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards. Now about feathers. Feathers help the bird to fly. Feathers help them to keep their body warm. feathers help them to stay dry as they are oily there are three types of feathers first one is flying feather then second one is body feathers and third one is down feathers okay now let's do the quick revision with the questions question number 1 fill in the blanks here two options are given for each question and you have to 
choose the right answer for the given question and fill in the blank okay in the ex now i'm putting a tick on the right answer but in the exam you have to click on the right answer okay children i hope you understand question number 1 fill in the blanks in that first one birds fly with their wings or eyes what is the right answer yes birds fly with their wings wings is the right answer so i am putting a tick on the wings question number 2 strong dash are attached to birds wings hands or muscles these are the two options now tell me children strong dash are attached to birds wings yes strong muscles are attached to birds wings so i'm putting a tick on the muscles option question number 3 birds have dash kind kinds of feathers birds have two or three kinds of feathers just now we discussed this yes birds have three kinds of feathers means birds have three types of feathers so i am putting a tick on the three option okay now next question number 2 choose the correct answer here you have to choose the right answer from the given options here for each question five four options are given and you have to choose the right answer now i am putting a tick on the right answer but in the exam you have to click on the right answer okay so start which among the following birds cannot fly ostrich parrot sparrow and eagle which among the following birds cannot fly now tell me children which bird cannot fly yes the right answer is option a that is ostrich ostrich cannot fly birds like ostrich emu and kiwi they cannot fly now question number 2 which of these are the functions of feathers and options are help the bird to fly option b keep the bird warm option c stop the bird from getting wet and option d is all of this so tell me children which of these are the functions of feathers yes all of these are the functions of feathers so i am putting a tick on the all of these okay question number 3 which among the following types of feathers gives shape to a bird options are flight feathers option b down feathers option c body feathers and option d is all of these which among the following types of feathers gives shape to a bird tell me children what is the right answer yes body feather is the right answer question number 3 true or false here two options are given for each statement so you have to choose the right answer according to the statement okay now first one all birds can fly and options are true or false so all birds can fly tell me children this statement is true or false yes this statement is false so i am putting a tick on the false state false option okay now question number 2 birds are the only animals with feathers on their body options are true or false now tell me children this statement is true or false yes this statement is true statement birds are the only animals with feathers on their body okay so i am putting a tick on the true option question number 3 birds and an aeroplane have same shape birds and an aeroplane have same shape options are true or false 
yes this this statement is true birds and aero and an aeroplane have same shape they have streamline shape okay so this statement is true it is narrow in the front and end and it is broad in the middle okay question number 4 birds have no teeth options are true or false yes this statement is true statement birds have no teeth okay birds have beak birds use their beak to tear their food okay now question number 4 identify the given figures here one figure is given or one picture is given okay and you have to identify the given picture or figure two options are given for each picture and you have to identify what is the picture is so first one options are flight feather and body feather so tell me children this is a picture of flight feather or body feather so the answer is flight feather so i'm putting a tick on the flight feather okay now next one that is question number 2 now identify this picture and the options are down feather or body feather yes this is the picture of a tell me children down feather so i am putting a tick on the down feather okay now next one yes flying feather or body feather these are the two options for this picture so identify the picture yes this is the picture of a body feather so i am putting a tick on the body feather okay body feather is the right answer this is the picture of a body feather now question number 5 answer in one word and the question is name the things that has same shape as birds here you have to answer in one word but here answers are already given okay so two options are given for each answer and you have to click on the right answer okay now i am going to put a tick but in the exam you are going to click on the right answer okay so name the thing that has same shape as birds options are aeroplane and car so aeroplane is the right answer so i am putting a tick on the aeroplane okay now question number 2 which part of the bird is used to take used to turn while flying options are beak or tail so now tell me children which part of the bird is bird is used to turn while flying so bird birds use their tail while flying to take turn okay bird birds use their tail to take turn while flying okay now next one question number 6 name the following here also two options are given for each question and you have to choose the right answer okay so first one long feathers found in wing wings and tail of the bird long feathers found in wings and tail of the bird tell me children what is the right answer yes the right answer is flight feathers so i'm putting a tick on the flight feathers now question number 
फेदर्स दैट कीप्स द बर्ड वर्म डाउन फेदर्स और बॉडी फेदर्स द फेदर्स दैट कीप द बर्ड वर्म दे आर डाउन फेदर्स आई एम पुटिंग अ टिक ऑन द डाउन फेदर्स नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन आंसर द फॉलोइंग ओके here you have to answer the following question by using the appropriate words from the options given okay short answer question will be given by using blank spaces and the spaces would be filled by using the given optional answers okay again i am repeating you have to answer the following question by using the appropriate words from the given option okay means here two options are given in the bracket so from that two option one word is right and one word is wrong so you have to choose the right word from the bracket so let's start what is the shape of bird birds and the options uh, answer is narrow or fat in the front and thin or broad in the middle so tell me children what is a bird shape bird is narrow or fat in the front yes the right answer is narrow bird is narrow in the front and thin or broad in the middle yes bird is broad in the middle so i am putting a tick on narrow and broad word okay in the exam also you are going to do like this you are going to click on the right answer now question number 2 what is the first step taken by a bird in order to fly yes the answer is jump or flap into the air now tell me children what is the right answer what is the first step taken by a bird in order to fly yes they jump or flap into the air yes birds jump into the air this is the first step taken by the by a bird in order to fly now question number 3 What is the second step for a bird to fly? Answer is flap or spread its wings to push itself upwards. So a flap or spread its wings what is the right option children? Yes birds flap its wings to push itself upward. Okay flap is the right answer. So I'm putting a tick on the flap now question number 4 how does a flying birds bird land down and the answer is spread out its wings or feet to stop tell me what is the right answer wings or feet is the right word birds spread out its wings to stop so i'm putting a tick on the wings option okay i hope you understand thank you